Welcome to Photoshop Elements 2024. Let's take a look at what's new from a scrapbooker's point of view and at the end of the video, I'll give you my upgrading advice. When opening Photoshop Elements 2024 for the first time, you're going to notice right away that the user interface has changed. It's received a fresh facelift. You'll see this update reflected in all workspaces, dialog boxes, buttons, panels, and bars. And along with that, it's received new color schemes, fonts, icons, and elements. These things are mostly visual, however, and won't really affect the way that you scrapbook. But one of the big things that you might like in this change is the support for both light and dark modes. What you're seeing now is light mode. If you want to change to dark mode, you'll need to get preferences and then in the generals tab, you can change the user interface mode from light to dark. To apply the effect, click OK and then you'll need to restart your program. I'm going to go ahead and leave mine set at light mode for the rest of this video. Digital Scrapper instructors will be leaving their interface set to light mode. If you are one of the Photoshop Elements users that has enjoyed the advancement of the one-click select subject option, you now have two more one-click options. You can click select background or select sky. Now these will only be helpful if you have an image open that actually has a background or a sky. Besides finding these one-click select options in the menu bar, you can also find them in the tool options of some of the auto selection tools. You'll see them right over here at the right side. Another thing newly available in Photoshop Elements 2024 is the integration of Adobe Stock. So if you are a stock image lover, you can go into the menu bar and choose File, Search on Adobe Stock. This will bring up a dialog box within the software that allows you to search stock and find an image that you like that's free and useful on your scrapbook page. You can do this all without ever leaving the program. You can also find Adobe Stock options in the Graphics panel. I would find this especially nice if you want to create a quick greeting card or a simplified scrapbook page. Next, I'll show you that in the effects panel of advanced mode, you are going to find a new color match option. You can use the presets to change the tones in your image, or you can import a photo of your own to match colors. You can also use this feature to quickly match colors of papers or elements. You'll also find five new presets in the artistic portion of this panel. As a scrapbooker, this next mention is a biggie in my book. In Photoshop Elements 2024, you'll see the addition of placeholder text when using the type tool. This will be amazing for times that when you're designing a scrapbook page and you want to see what a text box will look like before you take the time to carefully enter your journaling. A quick click of the type tool will give you two placeholder words and a quick click and drag of the type tool will give you an entire paragraph. Now, I find this option amazing, but if you don't and you want to disable it, you can do so in Preferences. And here's another thing about Photoshop Elements 2024. Have you ever noticed that since Photoshop Elements 2015, that the version of the software and the name of the software have been different? Well, now in Photoshop Elements 2024, you'll find that Elements 2024 is the same as Photoshop Elements version 24. That change is going to save a lot of confusion. So at this point, you may have already decided the answer to this question. Is it time to upgrade from your current version of Photoshop Elements? Well, as a digital scrapbooker, I like the new clean interface. But that alone is not really a reason for me to drop 60 to 100 bucks. 
I also don't care too much about the Adobe Stock option or the new one-click selection options. However, because of the addition of a quick color match that would help me to extend the use of my scrapbooking stash and the addition of placeholder text, which will help me design scrapbook pages more efficiently, I recommend upgrading to 2024. I think it's going to be a good investment. By January 1st, 2024, all digital scrapper instructors will be using Photoshop Elements 2024 in their classes and tutorials. We'll be releasing videos on the new features around that time. I hope this helps you decide on the new Photoshop Elements 2024. Feel free to pop in any questions in our community forum. This has been Jen White with Digital Scrapper.